Look at it as forward, break, forward. I mean, how does it, is it more, when you think about those chunks, is it more like the tangible stuff, the scheme, and wanting to have certain things installed by certain points, or is it more maybe the mental side of it saying, you've got to be able to pour everything into these four games because you know at the end of it oh, you'll have that break. Definitely mental. Because, mm -hmm. I, I mean, just, just we have a lot of young guys on the team and the older guys are leading the way and just showing them, like, I mean, just put everything you can. Like, what are you going to sacrifice outside of football to put into the film room, to the weight room, to your nutrition, sleep, all that stuff? So I just think it's definitely a mental thing on the side of knock out four games and you have another rest break to get your body back before we go again. And you talked about, you, you said the bowl game there. I mean, I know nobody wants to think too far into the future, wants to stay focused on what's right in front of you. But do you feel like this team has the capability to, to qualify for a bowl? I mean, without a doubt in my mind. And we look at it like that. We're not we're not settling for it. if we get a bowl game. We're looking at it as we got four games, break, and we got four more games. And, like, there's no hesitation in anyone's mind about that. So. And you talked about even going to the Ohio State game not buying into Vegas. You know, yeah, yeah. This week with Rutgers, I mean, it's kind of the opposite. I mean, yes, you guys are huge favorites. So yeah. How do you handle that situation? Uh, so just earlier in the year when we were playing uh, out-of-conference teams and we had, like, these huge, like, uh, differences in the like score or whatever, and uh, just like I said earlier, uh, you just can't buy into that stuff. Like, like you gotta like if we don't respect Rutgers, they're a Big Ten football team. They're gonna come in here and kick our butt, you know. Like, they're we gotta take them seriously. It's a Big Ten team, so just buying in every week, respecting every opponent. That's the way. Like, you're gonna knock off teams. I mean, how much is, is this an opportunity for you guys to get that's a big team to get some momentum? Oh, yeah, it's a huge – I mean, every game is an opportunity, and just, this is the next one. And going into this one, I think we're, it's exciting because what we showed off at Michigan State and how, how powerful and aggressive this offense can be. So it's kind of kind of scary for other teams, but it's exciting for us. As you were able to deep dive into that, what was the good and what was the bad from – I imagine there was a lot of good from Michigan yeah. State, but just kind of what – what were the takeaways, I guess, as you were able to really yeah. break that down? Phil? So I would say from an offensive line perspective, uh, I mean, for the most part, we had we had really good pass protection, which is good against a defense like that caliber. But uh, I think there was a couple penalties we wish we could have had back that were uh, – we made up for, I think, one of the three penalties offensive line had, but the other two were three and outs. So we look at that and take that to heart as we can't be the reason why we're having a three and out, you know. So. Exiting, exiting that Michigan State game, you know, missing Coy, inserting Matt Bedford and, and Devondre. Yeah. Was there any regrouping that needed to be done during the bye week on the offensive line? Uh, so not really. Like on the bye week, we, we took our break and got our mind off football. But before that Michigan State game, we knew Coy wasn't in with us. I just told the guys, I was like, I don't care who's on that field, who's playing. We're, we're bringing everyone together. We need every single person in this O line room because you never know who's going to play. And I think I think everyone kind of brought in Bedford and Devondre and just just brought them along if they weren't with us already, you know. And just making sure everyone's doing their job and everything outside of football to get the job done on Saturdays. Have you talking seen about the... Bedford in particular? Just as you were able to review film, it seemed like he had you know kind of on first spec a, a good game. Just yeah. how do you feel like he played? I mean. I mean, freshman coming into that environment, you know, it's a Big Ten, Big Ten house away game. So, I mean, I thought he did good. I mean, honestly, more better than I thought he was going to do. And um, it's really, really promising. And it just kind of like, it just makes makes me happy and excited to see where this offensive line is going to end up at the end of the year. I think Coach Allen talked about, you know, there being an urgency when Coy goes down and Matt knows he has to play. Oh, for sure. I mean, did you sense that in the week leading up that there was an urgency oh, yeah. to him? Yeah, he was, he was dialed in. Like, he was dialed in before, but it's different when you're running with the ones. Like, if you mess up one little thing technique-wise, like, you're getting exposed. Like, it's not just going to be like, all right, we're going to work on that individual. You're stopping that right there in the middle of the team, and you're, you're getting yelled at to get that fixed, you know? So I think he really, like, locked in. He got extra film in, and we're just really just making sure he comes along with us. I mean, just uh, how advanced would you say he is, even from, you know, I don't know, he came in early yeah. um, from where he was you know, in the spring to where he is now? Yeah, I mean, he, he came along really well. Uh, I think just in these past two weeks, like, his game has jumped tremendously mental-wise. Like, the dude, the dude has so much talent. Like, we're not worried about him getting the job done physically. It's just, like, his mental game. And I think just in the past two weeks, you know, when Kawhi's not in there to, like, all right, I don't know if I'm going to even play this game. That was his current, like, recent situation. Now he's, hey, I'm starting this game. I think that's really helped him take everything to more, like, sincere, like focus and seriousness, you know. I recognize you can't just remove the Ohio State game, but absent that game, you guys have given up a really low number of sacks yeah. this season. 
what do you think, how much of it is the experience in the line? How much of it is maybe good communication from your quarterback? Just what's making pass protection so effective? I love what you said, the good communication of the quarterback. So, I mean, a lot of, like, we've gotten in some sticky situations where it should have been a sack on us. But, I mean, like, whoever's back there, Penix, Ramsey, they'll really make us look better by getting the ball out. But uh, overall, I've been really happy with how little sacks we've given up. Like you said, excluding the Ohio State game, which was a little uh, bad. But um, I think overall, like we're, doing, we're on a really good pace for playing in the Big Ten, and uh, we'll see how it shakes out in the year with all these next opponents. I know against Michigan State, the rushing numbers weren't great, but obviously that defense is really good. But it seemed like maybe you guys were starting to kind of get that physicality that you guys have been wanting for. I mean, yeah. did you guys feel like that coming out of that game? Yeah, I mean, we knew going into that game they were like, top top ten rush defense in the nation, and uh, we knew we're gonna we're gonna have to earn every single yard we get in a rush game. Uh, and we really wanted to bring a lot of rush game plays, uh, inside zones, and then have pops off of them, pop passes and all that stuff. And uh, I think that was really good that we kept running against a caliber defense like that. Because it, it made us get off the ball, be physical, mean, nasty. And I think that was a real good like introduction to what we have coming up next is the rest of our schedules. It's going to be like that. It's going to be tough physical defense, and we're going to get after it.